Hello everyone and welcome back to another custom diecast review. We have Joey Logano's 2018 Martinsville win. Uh, the one, you know, that kind of is in the playoffs and, you know, it sets you for the round of four and all that stuff. So there's a few mistakes on here that I did not realize would happen until it happened. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, I didn't do terrible on the actual like designing of like the damage but it did a little much on the confetti which is a little hard to control but i have reference pictures here uh in my hand so we're going to take a look at that compared to the actual die cast so uh yeah the reason i did not get to the sooner was because um i had two extra loganos that weren't like being used they weren't customized yet so my wee little brain was like hey those are customs or not customs but those are extras that could turn to what i can't speak those are extras that could be turned into customs there we go talk thank you i could have turned them into customs so i'm like you know what i'm going to do that of course this was way before logano ever won the race but I'm like, hey, maybe, you know, I should hold on the one just to be sure. No, did it anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, I have one like where he flipped and one that has like, um, actually using my, I think it was my Homestead stop motion or Martinsville stop motion, one of the two. But like the hood was open, the front was kind of bent, uh, it was kind of broken off, uh, kind of split a little bit. So, yeah, I had three duplicates. And of course, this was the last fusion. I, do, I don't have a Logano yet for 2019. So, going to get that soon, but, yeah, uh, we kind of got this here, uh, just as Martinsville win. The reason I made it was because I went to the race, and, yeah, saw that tragedy happen. So, like, right here, I will show you some stuff that was not my fault, because um, I use painter's tape. I use, like, legitimate painter's tape. Now, that, uh, that, right there, that's that splitter, or spoiler, that is my fault. I will take credit for that one, um. Uh, not the best, but the tail lights here, and then uh, this here, and here, you can see the decals are like not there, and then there's some there, and then there. That's Lionel's part, because I used uh, painter's tape, you know, the blue stuff, the stuff that doesn't stick very good, and it still came off. So that's Lionel's quality being Lionel. But everything else, that was all me. Uh, I, I took up to a little bit of ownership for some paint chips. And I got one on the uh, spoiler. That was kind of my fault as well. And I will explain why. So, yeah. I painted the uh, the splitter and spoiler. And I didn't paint anything else. I could actually paint paint. So, yeah. Uh, we got this side here. I actually <laughs> I tried to add a little rivets. Uh, didn't do too well, but I, I, I could have done worse. I could have done worse, but I did add the, uh, the little rivets. I tried to do some of that, but I added some of the, uh, decal, not decal, but some of the, um, like, I don't know, just like build up here. Um, not the best because it's more like specs instead of like strokes, which I'm going to try to get better on that. Of course we have this, that was from the painter's tape, but that was done by Lionel. This painting job, <laughs> this was me. Um, I, I gotta do a better job on that, I know, um, but yeah, so, gotta get better on that. And then there's the hood, of course, we saw that, there's the Monster Energy banner, I got 22 up here on the roof, Logano, updated banner as well, ooh, that's kinda not in the correct spot, I guess it was hard to see. Um, okay, this is really, 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 really blurry, but like, it had a different deck lid, and I'm like, well, crap, so I found a, uh, pre-order and it had that on the back i'm like okay i think it's creative energy the rhythm of louisiana i think i think it's hard to but i got that paint chip right there that's my fault uh there's the back got a little bit of a kind of damage here from being bumped a little bit on the quarter panel i uh, got a little bit here oh and this gas tank the uh uh, American ethanol. I thought about just redoing that entirely, like putting my own little thing on there. I probably should have, but that was Lionel too. So thank you, Lionel, for having decals that don't stick very well. Uh, there's some more here. Uh, I got some more uh, damage. Again, I tried the rivets. Didn't do that great, but it didn't do that bad. I um, 
tried to doing the brake dust for the uh, what you would call it the rims here on the inside of the wheels and here's one of the good sides here's you know all beat up and stuff um, got that there got some more rivets tried doing that I didn't do a very good job uh, and you got the back here as well and now what actually made it a lot better was when I clear coated it it kind of like made it run a little bit that's what happened here because there's supposed to be a round of 12 stuff here. I, sh I should have just... Or not round of 12. What? I was thinking of the Brakoslowski. Uh, there should have been the round number here. Which was 8. Um, yeah. And I forgot to put the um, winter sticker on one of the sides. But I also didn't do that because of the color tone with the yellow. Uh, yellow is a really hard color to uh, kind of match with. So I just didn't do that. Uh, same with the uh, NBC logo. And the Monster Energy Playoffs logo. I didn't do that as well because it got the scallops here. It's kind of hard to do that, so I just ended up not doing that. So, yeah, we got some reference pictures in here. I went a little heavy on the back, but again, that's kind of hard to control. But, I mean, hey, you try, you learn. If it didn't work, try something else. So, yeah, here is um, the back. I actually got this off, off of a review. I don't remember who reviewed it. Where's the back right there? I'm missing a little bit of confetti, but I got the uh, kind of little damage underneath there so there's that uh it was the confetti was blue and white i didn't have white so i tried silver closest thing the white i could have and then of course you got the front here and then i got you got uh my front here not not great but not you know terrible either uh next reference picture we got the fronts uh, it's nothing special. It's just literally, you know, the front, nothing, nothing, nothing. I was thinking of um, replacing the headlight, but I'm like, that looks so weird because there'd be one that's like really done well and then one that was like not. So, yeah, tried doing that. Didn't know how I felt about it. Now, here's one of the good sides. I mean, take this paper out. Here was like what, you know, there's the uh, NBC round of eight, uh, the playoffs. My printer isn't very good. Even in this picture, you can see it's a little sloppy. But, so you got all that detail right there. I uh, tried redoing that. I don't know if that looks good or not. Uh, I would say let me know in the comments below, but you freaking can't. <laughs> um, that black bar on the bottom should have been ascended out a little bit more. Uh, that is my bad. But, yeah, I tried that. Um, I don't think it was too terrible, but it could be done... A little bit better again going to try some decals uh here soon i said that in the brad kozlowski talladega review and then there's this side so switching over to this side got a little bit um not much i tried to recreate this as much as i can that little back quarter panel i tried doing that uh, you can kind of see there uh, i didn't want to do too much because it look you know not that great but i mean i tried you know so uh See, again, I went a little bit on the, um, a little heavy on the confetti, didn't mean to, because it kind of stops, like, right here. Kind of goes over here a little bit, but over here it kind of gets over here a lot. It should have stopped, like, where the shell is. It should have kind of, like, sprinkled and kind of faded out. That really didn't do it. So, and this is, um, some foggy, like, um, windows. That is because of the clear coat now i have a new clear coat i have not tried it yet so i'm going to try to figure out if that does anything very last reference picture we have it's a little crumbled up because i was painting the back uh right here i was like doing the confetti parts and i kind of forgot i needed the picture but yeah there's a little wrinkled up but there it is again got the blue and white um yeah got the rhythm thing there I don't know what that is, what that sponsor is, but I literally Googled that and then I found a preview or like a pre-order of the diecast with like the deck lid on it. I'm like, oh, nice. Definitely stealing that. But yeah, there's uh, there's that. And then, of course, I did my version. I didn't have white again, but I did have silver, so I tried to do that. But overall, I don't think I did that bad of a job. And this one I was going to try to do on camera. But our weather here is terrible. I said that in the Brad uh, review as well. I don't know if you're going to see this before or after that. But I said it in the review either way. It was the 2017 Talladega. So, 
Yeah. You know, just... I tried something new. I was definitely going to make this if it was canceled. And, of course, it was. So I'm like, okay. Let's do it. Oh, God. These darn dogs. But, um... I plan to get to 124 of this, but it's a little a little high on the prices, so I'm like, okay. Not now. <laughs> I think the highest I saw was 90 for an ARC, a normal one. No elite, no autographed, no nothing. I'm like, okay. Um, can't afford that yet, and don't know if I want to spend a lot, because yes, it's a race I saw, but it's a driver I'm not really a fan of, but I don't mind him, but I don't really like him, so it's it's a, still balancing right now, I guess. Um, I would definitely get it just because I was there. Now, if I wasn't there, I'd be like, no, not getting, I'm not doing it, but yeah. I was there at this race, uh, really exciting, especially, you know, that finish, but I do wish Trunior kind of, Trunior? Who's Trunior? Uh, Truex Jr. pulled it off, but, I mean, you know, he didn't, but hey, he ended up getting short tracks win, uh, what? Short track wins. I put an S before the, before I was supposed to. Anyway, yeah, I think it's going to be, uh, it for this diecast review. Um, not really much else to say. Again, I tried doing what I could with this. Uh, I took a little bit of time on it. Didn't really try, try, but I tried to um, get that damage right mainly. But anyway, yeah, once again, going to go ahead and head on out of here. So thank you all so much for watching this diecast review. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Upside down.